Hello everyone, welcome to the video. In this video, I am going to explain how you can control a induction motor speed using VFD. Let's get started. First, we need a MATLAB function. In this MATLAB function, we will make a SPWM which will control the output of a which will control the output of the inverter. So first we need to define our omega that will be 2 pi times uh, frequency. Right. Then we need to make our then we need to generate three phase R Y B. So this will be sine of omega into time. And the amplitude will be multiplied by a factor of frequency over 60 in this case because the maximum frequency will be 60 similarly we need to generate about three phases y and b let's introduce a phase delay of 120 degree and everything is in radian so we have to make it in radian so 120 degree into pi over 180 and let's change the name of this is y then b and we also need to introduce a phase delay of 240 degree here as well all right now i think it's done here let's change the output to r y and b let's go back to our simulink file we need to give the input the input will be the first is a digital clock and the digital clock sampling time will be 1 e raised to the power minus 5. Similarly, we need to give the maximum frequency of 60 hertz. So let's make it 60. Then we will introduce a slider gain. And with the help of the slider gain, we will be able to change frequency which will be given to the input of this block. We'll double click the slider gain make it maximum is one okay now we are getting three phases uh, output of this block then we need to compare the output of this block with the repeating sequence go to the repeating sequence double click this mm -hmm. and the time values will be will be here 0 0.25 0 0.5 0 0.75 and lastly one and the output values will be 0 1 0 minus 1 and zero all right now we need to compare this so use a block greater than all these values will get compared with the repeating sequence so the output of this greater than will be either 0 or 1. So if it is 0, then it will go to the uh, gate pulse. It will provide the gate pulse to the inverter. So and we have to invert it as well. Okay. Here. Similarly, we need three of these. Now the gate pulses are ready. We need to make our inverter. Type the MOSFET. Take a MOSFET block and we don't need the measurement port. Let's get rid of this. Press Ctrl I to invert the block. We need six such pairs. So just Ctrl C. Copy this thing and similarly here. Okay, now let's connect all these. Let's provide the gate pulses to this these MOSFETs. One, the two will go to here. Okay. Then number two. This will go to 
this port here. Similarly, let's make uh, these other connections as well. Okay, now all these connections are provided. Let's make and drag it down here. All right. Number one, left. I'm just cross checking it. Then number two is here. This is okay. Then for the number three. This is correct. Then number four. This is also correct. Then number five is correct. Similarly, the number six. Yeah, this is also correct. All right. So now this is done. We have to provide our input to the inverter. So let's take a DC voltage source. connect this DC voltage to the inverter double click the DC voltage and make it 500 okay now we need a uh, induction motor so type a synchronous machine in SI units and we will take a uh, squirrel cage induction motor and we will take uh, this motor. So the maximum speed will be 1785 and 200 horsepower. Input voltage will be 460. All right. Okay. Then we need to provide uh, some torque to it. Take a constant block. Then okay, one is okay. Now we need a bus selector to measure the output speed of the motor. Double click the bus selector and go to the mechanical section here. Rotor speed, select this and remove, the, remove these two signals. Press OK. Then this speed is in, uh, this speed will be in radian per second we need to convert it into rpm so it will be multiplied by 30 over pi all right so now order to in order to observe the speed take a block scope and another block just to see the instantaneous speed of the motor with the display block okay now if everything is good this model should be running and one more thing we need to add a power GUI block alright so everything, everything seems good Double click this block. Now we are going to run the model. All right, the simulation is running. Let's see how much speed we are getting as of now. Okay, so this one more thing the speed is going into negative direction. So before going further, we have to make a small change. Go to the function block here and we have to change the terminals of this. So make this B and Y. Save this function. Now rerun the model.
okay now as you can see the speed of the motor will get stabilized somewhere around 1785 let us let's see if it is getting stabilized or not so it's been two seconds but the speed is not getting stabilized okay then yes okay so here is the thing we have to forgot we forgot to mention the carrier frequency here okay now let's run the model again well you can see the speed is getting stabilized now we will try to change the speed to 50 percent first let's see the motor is should be running around 900 yes it is getting stabilized somewhere around 900 so it is taking about two seconds to get stabilized now let's change the speed to 70 percent okay getting stabilized let's change the speed to 90 percent okay so as you can see this is how you can control the speed of the induction motor using the vfd so the vfd is because we are changing the frequency as well as the voltage output of the motor so thanks a lot for watching the video if you have suggestions or queries let me know into the comment section i will be more than happy to address them thanks a lot bye bye